Okay, so I just wanted to come and do kind of like a close-up video of this bag that I got. I did like a really, really, really rough unboxing. I mean, I tried to literally show y'all as I unboxed it, but I don't really have a whole camera set up. So I want to kind of come and talk to you about my experience with purchasing this bag. So this is like the full size of the bag. It is the medium size MCM Leather Boston Satchel Medium because I believe it comes small as well. It comes with this little snap button to where you could take both handles and like hold them together and snap them or you could just kind of snap it on one and leave them flapping it comes with a long strap that you could wear shoulder or crossbody um i like that it gives you that option because i know bags like this most people do hold in the crook of their arm but it does get kind of heavy it does have feet on the bottom so you don't have to worry about getting it dirty um it is that embossed leather look which is really nice it is a stiff leather it's not like super soft it is stiff but i do like that because even when you take everything out of the bag it keeps its structure um the zippers do come pretty far down on both sides so it allows you to fully get into the bag i'm thinking about decorating that this bag with that burberry bag charm that i got to add a little something to it this is the site i got it from if y'all google this site this site is based out of paris france so what made me feel more comfortable about purchasing from the site is I called the customer service line for the U.S. customers, and it was based out of New York. I spoke to a real person. It was helpful. Reason being is because initially wanted this bag, and it was $5.75 on the site. Looked at it for a few days, went back and forth, went back and forth. Checked the MCM website, and they had it on sale for $7.75, so that would be a savings of $200. So I'm like, okay, let me hurry up and jump on it. A couple days later, it was out of stock. Call them, see, because I watch a girl on YouTube. She's like, hey, if y'all ever purchase something and site says out of stock, call. They probably still have it. Call, they still had it. They had like 11 in stock. So they said it was a glitch and it'll be fixed. Gave it a day or two and it was fixed. Purchased it, got it. I didn't love it. I wasn't like over the top about it. I was very much so like on the fence about it. So I ended up returning the bag. Four days later, well, I returned the bag. Four days later, I looked on the site. It dropped from five seventy five to four eleven. Keep in mind, this bag is still on the Burberry website for seven seventy five right now. So seven seventy five compared to four eleven, that's over three sixty four in savings. If I'm like a dollar too off, don't like hurt me. But three sixty four about in savings. Three sixty four is the price of a whole nother bag. So also. 364 compared to the original price on MCM, but compared to the 575 that I paid the first time, that's still a savings of 164. So that's still the price of like a bag as well. So I was like, for 164 savings, so 411 would be the purchase price, which is additional $164. And what I initially got, I'm like, I'm gonna get I it made me more wanting to get it again. Looked on their site, sold out. I was like, I'm not even tripping on it. I didn't love the bag, whatever. Sold out. Excuse my messy background. So I left it alone. Kept thinking about it, kept thinking about it, kept thinking about it. I'm like, damn, 411 compared to 775. Even 411 compared to 575. 411 is nice. Like, I would like that bag for 411. So something tells me it's showing us out of stock, but something was like, they didn't even receive in the return that I got. So if they didn't receive in the turn I return I got nine times out of ten, they're gonna post the bag I returned again. Gave it a day or two, posted it. It was in stock. I purchased it. Looked like a few minutes later it was still in stock. Looked like an hour later it was out of stock. So I'm like, I pretty much purchased the bag that I returned. But I left all the plastic stuff on it. I kind of feel like this is the bag I had, which if it is, it's fine. It was like perfect condition. So anyway, I got this bag for four eleven. Um with shipping, I think it was four twenty three. They do DHL. It literally came maybe three days, four days. It didn't take a whole week. Um, like I said, this bag is still on the MCM website for $7.75. I originally got it for $5.75, returned it. They did not do price adjustments. I emailed customer service like, hey, I literally purchased this bag less than four days ago. It's now went from $5.75 to $4.11. Can you do a price adjustment? They said, no, you can return it, but we don't do price adjustments. So I returned it. Ended up buying it again. When they still had it but when it went to 411 it literally like sold out it is a really pretty bag it's really nice it kind of reminds me of the speedy emprunt but <laughs> for way less money but mcm is still a nice brand they do make their bags in korea um i watched someone on youtube and they said that the mcm stands for the original founder of the brand and then someone purchased the brand and the person who purchased the brand is like from korea so they now make the products in korea but it's a nice nice handbag 
this is a dust bag it is a nice thick dust bag um i would say it's just pretty much the same quality as the zach posen bag i have but the coach 1941 dust bag i had is still way better than this dust bag like i said this is a site i got it from if y'all are looking for luxury goods some stuff they have on sale some stuff they don't but some of the stuff they do have on sale i noticed other sites don't have it on sale just keep in mind it is coming from overseas it is dhl they will ship through dhl i haven't had an issue with dhl um so that's that also they do do free returns like you don't have to um pay for shipping for a return and when you get your money back from returning i know from experience because i returned it back they don't um they only deduct the shipping that you paid 15 dollars. but i know it kind of costs them more than 15 dollars to ship from paris to louisiana in a matter of a few days so um i'm really really happy with the bag like i said i saved a ton on it so I do like nicer things, but I'm kind of now more so in the habit of I like nicer things, but I'm not paying full price for it. If I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it on a good deal to where I would feel comfortable about keeping it. Because I noticed that even with nicer, higher end brands, you don't get your money back if you decide to sell it. So even if for this MCM bag, for the bag I just posted, the previous bag from Fashion File, I'm not going to get my money back if I decide to sell it. However, the prices that I'm getting these bags for, probably won't even sell it because of such a good deal I got. Um, so, yeah. So, I don't have any bag like this. I had a Michael Kors bag that was just like this. It didn't have a strap. But it was like this type of type handle satchel. Loved it. Wore it out. But the stitching, everything started popping out. So, I'm really excited to get a bag back like this. But also the fact that it has a strap in case I'm shopping and I want to put it on my shoulder or even crossbody it. You can crossbody this strap. It does go crossbody. I just feel like this bag looks kind of weird crossbody. Like it's a little too big. But it does do crossbody and it doesn't hit super high up. Hits about to your hip. Um... So if you're ever shopping, gets too heavy, you can throw it over your shoulder or crossbody. Um, I saved a ton. I really like the bag. So MCM, this is the site one more time. Um, if y'all have any questions, leave them below. Um, can't think of anything else. But yeah, if y'all have any questions, leave them below.